No, I don't waste no time How you doing guys and welcome back to a new video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. I have my own Facebook advertising agency called Brandpreneur and I also have my own education business where I basically teach you guys on how to do the same as what I'm doing. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first client, how to get results for that client, how to build up the agency, automate it, scale it, so that you too can live life on your own terms. So as the title suggests today, we're going to be talking about outreach methods in 2021 so a bit early to the party as you know at the time of recording this it's actually just the start of december but uh, i basically just want to give my opinion and my expectations basically of what is going to change moving forward and what uh, changes we've already implemented in anticipation of the next year but before we get into all that juicy stuff i just want to quickly mention that we have a challenge going on from the 21st to the 24th of December called the Marketing Consultants Fast Track Challenge. And this challenge is going to be completely free of charge. Um, like I said, anyone who wants to join, there are no hidden costs or anything like that. It's uh, purely educational for you guys and what we're going to be teaching during this challenge. When I mean we, I mean me and Erin Geyser, who is uh, probably one of the best media buyers that I've ever come across. Um, and we're basically going to be teaching you guys on how to basically do this exact same as what we're doing. So how to implement and apply all of our strategies that we use to get our clients a 20 or even 30 X return on ad spend over the entire uh, ads manager, okay? So not just the one campaign or the one ad set, which I see people screenshotting and putting in the, the Facebook groups, etc. No, you know, campaign wide, we want to improve all of your ads um, so you can get a better return on ad spend and return on investment for your clients. Your clients will stay for longer, will be that happy with you that they refer other people onto your agency as well. You're getting inbound leads and maybe you'll even get to the point where you can start running ads for your own agency and practice what you preach. So for those of you that are basically sick of hiring all these third tier, third world contractors from Upwork, etc. Um, that aren't giving the clients the results that they expect, then make sure you check out our consult marketing consultant fast track challenge, almost butchered the name there, uh, where we're going to teach you guys on how to basically improve your media buying skills. With that said, two little disclaimers, um, we're going to cap the group out at 100 people and you will need to have existing clients. So please do not apply for this challenge if you don't have marketing like agency clients. I've already seen a few people that have basically been rejected from the group and have tried to apply again for this challenge by saying that they've got clients and guys, we're not soft, we're not stupid. We monitor who actually applies for this challenge manually ourselves. So just please do yourself a favor and only apply for this challenge if you actually have clients because like I said, we are going to be teaching you guys the exact strategies needed to get your clients a return on ad spend and there's no point in joining this challenge if you haven't got clients because there's literally nothing you can do. You can't fill out the worksheets, you can't follow along, you can't do your homework, nothing like that. If you have not got a client yet for your agency, then make sure you check out my free Facebook community called the Lifestyle Design Community where there's a free beginner course in there that teaches you how to get that first client, okay? So this challenge is for existing agency owners only. If you have a client or multiple clients and wanna to get to that next level, then make sure you check out the challenge. It will be in the first comment, so not in the description, in the first comment below. Now, with that said, what is going to change in 2021? What have we changed in anticipation of 2021 with regards to outreach? Now, what I do need to mention is that we are implementing our own paid traffic strategies for our own ANC as well. So we're running ads for the ANC. Uh, the funnel is as follows. Facebook advertisements where the call to action is a free consultation. When they click on the advertisement, they go to a landing page where we have testimonials from our clients. We have screenshots of our portfolio, an explanation of our team, and also like conversation screenshots of um, happy words from our clients and reviews, etc. And then again, every single button has a call to action to book a call. When they click on that, they get redirected to a, another page where our Canada link is embedded so we can track everything that's happening on the page. 
everything from literally heat maps to you know button clicks etc everything is being tracked and then from there once they book a call with us they get sent to a thank you page which we also track and then we'll basically optimize them for the last event on the page which is a submit application for those of you that you know found that um, a bit confusing etc don't worry like i said it's just something that we're testing out um, if you want to rely on like organic outreach methods i will be explaining some methods um, later in this video but i'm just basically you know being transparent with you guys and explaining what we're doing so basically it's a core funnel for our own agency um, currently our cost per lead is around 20 euros which is amazing actually you know if we can get calls for 20 euros with a closing rate of 30 percent then you know that is absolutely um fantastic but unfortunately the quality of the leads aren't quite there yet so we're still optimizing still tweaking but basically what we've noticed is that or what i've you know basically experienced myself in the in the industry and basically you know, with regards to uh, social media marketing etc is that everyone is doing manual outreach everyone is in the trenches everyone is basically getting bombarded you know from a client's perspective with messages you know cold outreach methods etc all asking to hop on a call etc you know just think these business owners these are literally getting 20 to 30 messages a day all from these desperate marketers you know hoping that they'll accept the invitation to hop on a call so that they can use some outdated script to get them you know basically as a client and what you need to start doing as an agency is separating yourself from the norm okay when everyone hips you hop when everyone is doing manual outreach you find ways to attract clients to you and as i've already mentioned one of the easiest ways obviously is through referrals and inbound leads or paid traffic if you haven't got clients to give you those referrals just yet um, but alongside all of that what i also want you to start doing in the following year is start building out digital real estate and what i mean by that is start leaving your digital footprints over the internet if you have a instagram page for your agency or if you have an instagram page for yourself that you use for business purposes start documenting the journey of what you're doing for your clients start screenshot on results that you're getting for clients start building up that authority position within your you know niche or industry so that when the time comes the businesses are actually going to be reaching out to you rather than vice versa and i've already mentioned this in a few of my videos but this is a long-term play so if you haven't got the money or the experience or the results to get inbound leads or you know leads via paid traffic then by all means continue with the manual outreach you know um, for example those that have enrolled into my program uh, continue using the hybrid outreach system where we can basically you know send out automated email blasts to your niche which i will be getting into in just a moment um, and then you know as soon as they reply you can start sending out uh, you know the video outreach methods you know loom videos etc um asking them to get on a call but you know continue by doing that that is fine you know if you like i said if you haven't got the money nor experience then continue doing this continue doing the manual outreach the organic attraction methods i like to call it but alongside that just build up digital real estate okay so if again this all of course this depends on how you are as a person if you are someone that likes to speak in front of a camera which you know for me finally after about four or five years of doing youtube i do i am at a point now where i am quite comfortable in front of camera um, what i could start doing is creating an agency youtube channel for me because i've got a youtube channel for the b2c side of things you know the education system etc uh, the education business i should say i don't know where i got system from but because i've already got a youtube channel focused on b2c um, i've actually started leveraging linkedin and facebook and instagram for the agency side of things so when we get results for our clients when we've noticed something in the industry that we want to report on i will use instagram stories i will use instagram posts uh, if you want to know what kind of posts etc just follow brand Panier, um, on instagram and you'll see it i do the same on linkedin so we've got a linkedin page for brand Panier, the agency i've also you know started leveraging my own linkedin we post on there as well and then we also post on the brand Panier facebook uh, page and that is basically how we started to build out our digital real estate in terms of results we've actually um so at the time of recording this it is thursday 
yesterday we had a call with a client that we actually thought came through the paid ads which we thought was quite interesting because it was in the e-com niche but in a different e-com niche than we focus on and uh, we just thought you know maybe they've misread our advertisements but when we actually got them on a call we realized that they came through instagram so we asked them okay you know how did you actually find us and this person basically said that they typed in facebook ad agency on instagram Brandpreneur was the first page to come up and then when they saw our post about getting $35,000 in purchase conversion value for one of our info product clients, that was all they needed to know to book a call with us and uh, we basically managed to book a second call with this client and we are looking very likely to actually close this client for $1,500 a month. And like I said, this all came from an Instagram post and just because we built up that digital real estate that we were the first agency or Instagram agency page to come up when they typed in Facebook ads agency okay so moral of the story golden nuggets of the video is to build out digital real estate build out your digital footprint for the long term because like i said everyone is doing outreach so i want you to build up this as an asset alongside it now with that said in terms of actual outreach methods because like i said you know yes you can build up digital real estate yes if you're enrolled in our program you've got our hybrid outreach system but what should you actually do if you haven't built up that yet or aren't enrolled into the program? And I think in terms of outreach, it very much depends on your strengths and you know who you are as a person. I am quite an introverted person when it comes to sales. So for example, for me, cold calling would not be the best idea. It is something that I do struggle with and something that I don't really like to do. So for me, LinkedIn and cold email are you know the go-to ways. And of course, paid traffic is even better again because it's an immediate social proof thing, right? If a client uh, books a call with you and they basically, you know, hit you with an objection like, you know, why should I, um, why should I believe you? You know, have you got any proof that it works? You can literally just say, you know, bro, the, the proof's in the pudding. The, the reason why you're hopping on this call with me today is because the ads work and we can literally do the same thing for your business. Don't say, bro, I don't know why I said that, but you know, that's just basically immediate social proof that you can do it because otherwise they wouldn't know who you are now with that said you know just focus on your strengths if you're someone that is um you know likes to be in front of camera for example use instagram or youtube if you're someone that likes to be a little bit more behind the scenes you can even set up a podcast you can even do youtube or just the screen recordings and the audio you know get creative based on your strengths okay and start um, utilizing both manual outreach, try and look into paid traffic, because like I said, we need to find a way to separate you from the herd. You know, outreach is at an all time high and we wanna basically, you know, create a unique selling point for you and your agency. So uh, make sure that you utilize your strengths. If you can use paid traffic and build up digital real estate alongside it. And that's all I've got for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some out of it. Leave a comment down below what you're going to change in terms of outreach moving forward or from 2021 onwards. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.